General information on scuba diving. Scuba diving is a form of underwater diving. The diver has a self-contained breathing apparatus to breathe underwater. Unlike other activities, scuba diving allows you to breathe underwater through breathing gas, which is usually compressed gas. This activity allows the divers to move underwater for longer periods of time. The divers won't have to hold their breath because they can breathe through the compressed gas in the breathing apparatus. The rules for scuba diving. Your first dive is shallower than your second dive. Every diver has to perform safety stops at the end of their dives. The safety stops are 15 feet in the water and are a minimum of 5 minutes. If there were bad conditions above ground and the divers are underwater, they're told to perform a safety stop between 10 to 15 minutes. To have a safe dive, you need to remember the S-A-F-E-D-I-V-E. Self-reliance, attitude, fitness, experience, diving skills, involvement, variety, and equipment. You can only ascend in water up to 30 feet per minute, but in the past you could have gone up to 60 feet per minute. You have to float neutrally and stay like that during the ascent. People in the past that used body breathing were trained at it. Why they changed this rule is because people that didn't know how to use body breathing started using it. Scuba diving training program. The lowest certification age you can be to apply is 12 year, years old in the past. The ages to join this training program is for kids from the ages 8 to 12. This rule was changed because the company wanted more people to come out, mostly kids, and learn how to scuba dive. When kids go through the training program, they start off, they start off by going through, the, through water which is only 6 feet deep. After the training program is complete, kids would have the experience and know how scuba diving would feel like. They would have the experience and know how to scuba dive in the future and be ready for it. Scuba diving equipment information. Although the underwater world is amazing, you need some equipment. You do the diving, but your scuba gear makes it possible. A mask. You need a mask to see underwater and that's very important. A dive regulator is also needed so you are able to breathe underwater. You also need a wetsuit. A wetsuit's job is to not give the human body more heat, but allows the human body to maintain its own heat. It also prevents cuts and scratches. Fins are another piece of equipment you need to go scuba diving underwater. They, all, they allow you to swim fast using your powerful swimming legs. A dive knife is also required for your own safety. You can even dive at night with your dive light. The weight system is there to help you descend underwater when you want to. Flight information going to Chiang Mai. Our flight is from Calgary, Canada to Chiang Mai, Thailand. We're going to have three stops on the way. Our first stop is Amsterdam. The second stop is Paris and our last stop is Bangkok. The total amount of time it's going to take us is 27 hours and 35 minutes. It's going to cost us $6,739 to get to Thailand. We're leaving from Calgary at 3.40 p.m. and we arrive in Chiang Mai at 9.15 a.m. The airlines we're going to use is Air France and Bangkok Airways. Our trip schedule going to Chiang Mai. From Calgary to Amsterdam, we're using Air France and the flight duration is 8 hours and 15 minutes. We're going to leave from Calgary at 3.40 p.m. and we arrive at 8.30 a.m. It's an overnight flight. We stay in Amsterdam for 1 hour before our next flight. From Amsterdam, we're going to Paris. We're going to be using Air France and the flight duration is 1 hour and 15 minutes. We'll be leaving from Amsterdam at 9.30 a.m. and we'll be arriving at 10.45 a.m. The, f the stay in Paris is 3 hours and 5 minutes before our next flight. From Paris, we're going to Bangkok. We're going to be using Air France and the flight duration is 10 hours and 55 minutes. We'll be leaving from uh, uh, Paris at 1.50 p.m. and we'll be arriving at 6.45 a.m. It's an overnight flight. We're gonna be staying in Bangkok for one hour and 15 minutes. From Bangkok to Chiang Mai, we'll be using the Bangkok Airways. Our flight's gonna be one hour and 15 minutes. We'll be leaving at 8 a.m. and arriving in Chiang Mai at 9.15 a.m. We have a five day stay in Chiang Mai. Our flight back from Chiang Mai to Calgary. It will take us 44 hours and 55 minutes to get back to Calgary. We take the same route back but with longer stays in each area. 
Our first flight is from Chiang Mai to Bangkok using Bangkok Airways. The flight duration is 1 hour and 20 minutes. We will be leaving at 6.55 am and we will be arriving in Bangkok at 8.15 am. We have a 2 hour and 30 minute stay in Bangkok before our next flight. Our next flight will be from Bangkok to Paris using Air France. The flight duration is 12 hours and 30 minutes. We will be leaving at 10.45 am and we will be arriving in Paris at 5.15 am. We will have a 3 hour stay in Paris before our next flight. Our next flight is from Paris to Amsterdam using Air France. The flight duration is 1 hour and 15 minutes. We will be leaving from Paris at 8.15 pm and we will be arriving in Amsterdam at 9.30 pm. We will have a 15 hour and 5 minute stay in Amsterdam and it's going to be an overnight layover and they provide us with everything. Our last flight is from Amsterdam to Calgary using Air France. The flight duration is 9 hours and 15 minutes. We will be leaving at 12.05 pm and we will arrive in Calgary at 9.15 pm. Hotel in Ching Mai Information Our hotel's name is Le Meridien and it's known to be one of Chiang Mai's best hotels. To contact this hotel, you have to call their number. The room we are booking is called eSpace Studios. The cost is 3,900 THP per night and we will be there for 5 days which will make our cost 19,500 THP. The features our hotel room has Entertainment features, bed features, bathroom features, office and telecom features, dining features, room features, room and service features, internet access. Food information. We will be having food served in the hotel. The place where we're going to eat is called the latest recipe. It opens at 6 a.m. and closes at 10 p.m. It's indoors with casual style for the dining room. They serve breakfast, lunch, and dinner there, and it, this is pitched in with the room cost. Our dive site features. In Thailand, there are many dive sites. One of the dive sites are called Pattaya. We will be diving in this dive site. We have chosen this dive site because it has advantages of over other parts in Thailand. Diving here is great all year round because of the weather. It also allows easy access to other island dive sites. Th Thailand is an amazing place and exciting for scu scuba diving. It's mainly known for its deep drops, tropical beaches and excellent scuba diving. What's another positive note about Chiang Thailand scuba diving you ask? It's also very popular for its wrecks walls, open ocean sea mounts, caves and tunnels, and its soft and hard corals. Our dive site information. Our site is a 5 star diving area. In this site, thousands of people have their first experience every year. In this dive site, if you're diving for your first time, you have to take a diving training course. The area where the training happens has been there for 20 years. This makes it believable that the trainers there are very professional and experienced. Not only that, the trainers also have their own re reputation for being very friendly. Dive boats customized by the company itself to, to ensure 100% safety. Visitors have also given positive feedback about their experience and recommended other people to come. Up in lights, he just wants to be heard, whether it's the beat of the mic.